Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Today I'm going to end my three-part series in candle rolling with what I call a staircase candle. And as you can see, it goes steppity, 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 step. It goes from skinny to fat. And I'm going to teach you how to make it right now. For this project, you'll need beeswax sheets, candle wick, scissors, exacto knife, hair dryer, and a ruler. So we've already cut this straight down the middle. And with a staircase candle, I mean, you can make it big and long if you want to. It gets really, really fat though in that case. And so what I like to do is cut these in half. And so I'm gonna just measure about eight inches here. And using my ruler, just cut straight down to make two sheets. So just like with my skinny candle, I can get four of these thin staircase candles out of one sheet. I'm gonna be measuring two inches down and making a little cut. And then I'm gonna be measuring an inch and a half up, excuse me, an inch and a quarter up, making a little cut. And from the cut here to the cut there, I'm gonna use my ruler and just cut straight on down so that I make a triangle. Now I'm going to cut my wick just like I did in the other tutorials, one inch longer than the width of the candle. And I'm going to make sure that that's right. And I'm going to, at this point, cut my embellishment. And I'm going to be using just one honeycomb width of this. So I've got my yellow here, cutting one tiny little honeycomb width. And I'm going to actually place it ahead of time on my candle. As with my other tutorials, I'm warming up beeswax just to make sure that it stays nice and secure, that it's nice and malleable. And I'm just lining this up all the way along that edge there. See that? All the way along the edge and I'm just going from one end all the way down and as you can see I gave us a little extra up here so that I didn't end up with a rough edge because I can come back and cut these little edges off here. Just cut this one here and cut this one here. There we go. So now we've got our pretty line. And then what I'm going to do is flip this over. And I want to give this a little warm up. Again, it's very fast. Now I'm going to take my wick and I'm going to, like I did with all the other ones, lay it right at the very end. Push it down in and start to roll. Once again, I want to make sure that I'm keeping this very, very tight as I roll, and I also want to make sure that I'm always keeping that bottom in line and straight. As I go, I want to make sure that my embellishment stays. So I just want to run my finger across as I'm rolling, making sure that that's staying in line as I'm rolling, and if it rips a little bit, don't worry, just use your fingers to smooth it down. Keep going, keep rolling, making sure that that bottom is not sliding out, and there we go. Now, once you get to the end here, you're going to take your hair dryer like we've done with the others, warm that up a tiny bit, seal it off, and now you should have a tiny little bit left over that we had cut off and we can just take that and smooth it in so that it goes all the way down. Now if you have your candle base, you may need to taper it just a tiny bit with your fingers. And if it's not going easily, heat it up a little bit with that hair dryer, but it should be pretty malleable. And you're just going to taper that end, just like a regular candle, like a real candle that you would get in the store. It has a tapered end. And then you can 
make sure that it fits right into your candle holder like that. And there you have it, your very own staircase candle. Now, the product that I used once more is this fabulous beeswax candle making kit from Amazon. And as I said, it comes with everything you need to make your candles. If you've enjoyed this series, make sure that you give us a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so that you can get our videos every Wednesday and Friday. For more great ideas, check us out at sophie-world.com.